Hello everybody and welcome back to the Integrity Botanicals YouTube channel. I'm coming at you guys today with a very highly requested video from my last What's New and that is a super easy smoky eye using only the Gressa eye tints, probably the easiest smoky eye in the world, blends beautifully even if you are a smoky eye novice you can get by with this look, I absolutely promise you. So I'm running down this video a little bit different. I'm gonna do a talk through because I really want you guys to get the technique of a smoky eye. It can be really simple and can apply to any product. It's just especially easy with the Gressa eye tints. So if you guys would like to cut to me doing these smoky eyes, then please keep watching. So I thought it would be a little bit easier this time around if I actually talked you guys through it, just because it is really simple, so it's not gonna be a very long-winded thing. And um, it really is easy to achieve, but I'm just gonna walk you guys through it, make it even easier rather than a voiceover, because some of the voiceovers I go quickly through. So I have everything on, eyebrows, cheeks, foundation, everything except for my eyes and lips done. So everything I'm already wearing, if you're curious, I will have in the description box down below. It's all the stuff I've been using, but just so you guys know. So before we get into it, let's talk about what you need. It really isn't crazy. First up, you're going to need some eye tints, colors. You could sort of go up to you. I'm of course going to be doing the darker shades, the dark browns. I think that lends itself to a smoky eye the most easily. You're going to need a blending brush. My tool of choice is, of course, the Delium Tool 785. You're also going to need the Gressa Cream Shadow Brush, a great one just for laying down color all over the lid. And um, any sort of small liner brush, we could do some detail work eyeliner um, at the root of the lash. And lastly, a good mascara. If you want one that's amazing, go with the Hint Beauty. It has a really good volume to it. So those are your supplies. Now let's just get right into it. I'm gonna zoom you guys in even a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So first up, we're gonna take my favorite Gressa eye tint of the entire bunch and that cream shadow brush I told you guys you're gonna need. And I'm just going to wiggle my brush in there. You could also use your finger, but this brush does such a good job at laying down color. And we're just going to take this all, just across the lid. If it's messy, no worries. That's even better. We're going to go from there. And then we're going to take our Delium Tools brush and we're just going to start going in just a little wiggle motion. You see I'm working in circles and I'm bringing it out a little bit. That's obviously very dependent on your eye shape. If you want to keep it tight, go for it, but I like to elongate everything. Elongates the eyes and my eyes are slightly hooded. So for you to see it, I need to bring it up above this bone. Otherwise it gets all sunk back there. Honestly, if you wanted to do a one-stop shop, you could do that. Put a little bit on the lash line, eyeliner, mascara, and go. But to add a little bit of depth, I'm actually gonna go in with Obscure. The same blending brush, because I want this to be pretty messy, and this is just a dark um, plummy brown. I will link the video down below where I did an entire thing to this, and I'm just gonna take it on the blending brush, because the blending brush won't pick up as much color. And I'm just going to start feathering that. Concentrating in the outer corner, but definitely feathering it in just like that. And before we finish that up, I'm going to take that bronze color on the same eye brush. What I love about the Gressa Cream Shadow Brush is that point. So you could take it underneath the lashes, and you could take this relatively low if you wanted to, because the smokier, the smudgier, the better. Okay, now I'm going in with the smoky eye essential. I'm going in with the eye tint in Charbon, which is that sort of sparkling black. And I'm actually going with the Delium Tool 781. And I'm going to do this. This is going to be completely concentrated in that outer corner. And then we're going to go in and blend it out. We're doing a very traditional dark smoky eye today. So once that color is laid down, feel free to wiggle your brush a little bit back in bronze just to help it blend. But these blend so easily, you probably won't even need it. And just keep that on the outer part of the lid and blend out. Okay, so now we're talking. Now for a liner brush, I'm going to use the Delium Tools 708. Run it along that black shade. And since we're going to be applying a lot of mascara to help add that depth, I'm going to just line the base of my lashes. And I'm gonna take it all the way in this time, which I normally don't do. Okay. 
And with that, you can really afford to be subtle because it'll all make a big difference in the end. And before I apply something in my waterline, because I'm next going to go in with that, I like to just sort of wipe it with a Q-tip to make it a little bit drier than it would be. And then I'm going to go in and use this like an eyeliner. It actually lasts really well. And I'm going to do that both bottom and the top. So you could just look up and nestle that into the root. You can see how big of a difference all of that makes. It really takes the look to the next level before the mascara. But if you prefer, you can also go in with a nude color like Neve. It won't be a traditional smoky eye, but you can see how much smaller it makes my eye look. If you have really small eyes, go in with Neve instead, but keep the darkness on the top and then the lightness in the waterline. Now for the final step, mascara. Feel free to give your lashes a good curl if you want to, but the Hint Beauty Nocturne is amazing. It's gonna give me all of that length and volume that I really want for a smoky eye. No need for false lashes. All right, you guys, that is it. This is my completed smoky eye using all of the Gressa eye tints. If you guys like this video and you would like it to be a series where maybe I go back to the basics with beauty, basic smoky eye, how to get a really crisp, perfect red lip, um, how to apply powder foundation, things like that, let me know because I feel like that could be really helpful and also allow me to feature products that aren't necessarily new but some of my favorites such as these eye tints. Um, and if you want to know more about the eye tints, I not only have all of the product links down below from brushes to eye tints and beyond, I will also have video links where you can watch me swatch and review all of the eye tints so you can find which ones are best for you and make your decision from there. If you have any questions about the eye tints as well, feel free to leave me a comment. Either myself or Terry will get back to you. Um, I love hearing from you guys in the description box down below and if you would like to see that series, don't forget while you're in the description box down below, all of our social media is going to be there. Keep up with us. We're absolutely everywhere and it's a really good way to connect with you guys beyond the YouTube space. But as always, if you like this video, you like me, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. I upload new videos every single Monday and Friday. But thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!